There are two avenues in which a teacher can assign reading or activities to students through StudySync. First would be to go to the Core ELA tab, which can be filtered by grade level. The units will pop up and choose the unit you wish to look into by clicking Core ELA Unit. Then click Instructional Path to view the individual assignments available. Once you find something you want to assign to students, you would just click Assign. The other option is to go into the library. The library has more content available to assign out to students that aren't necessarily in the core ELA units. Once you find something you like, you can remove or add it to your bookshelf. That will make it easily accessible later on. But if you want to go ahead and assign, you can do actions and use for new reading assignment. And once I clicked in the core ELA tab, assign, this same page would come up. Okay, so it tells me what assignment type it is and what it's named. And then I go to my target. The target is the, the audience I want to assign it to. I have given names to my groups or Infinite Campus gives me names as well, or I could assign it to individual students if I keep scrolling down. But I want to customize what I'm sending out, so I click Customize. I can give specific instructions, a hello to my students, or any other kind of encouragement or greeting. And then I can customize it by turning off and on any of these options. Audio, vocabulary, intro, preview, summary, think, text, focus, and reading quiz. Remember the reading quiz may or may not show up if you are just in the core ELA tab, but it will show up if you assign directly from the library. And this part is key, student answer key visibility. We want it to be immediate. We wanna give students immediate feedback and not have to grade certain things ourselves. But maybe I don't like all the things that it have, has in the unit. So I can select which ones I want to give. And it lets me preview. So maybe I don't like number four. I can click it off. I love all the reading quiz questions except number five. I'm gonna take that off and number 10. And maybe I don't like number five focus question either. And then if I want to assign writing with it, I can leave this on green or I can turn it off and then I won't have a writing prompt for students. But remember that I can click on it and then choose several from several prompts that are given. And then when I'm finished, I would just click at the bottom, create assignment. Then it will show up for each student that I have selected. Well, that wraps up another great episode of Innovate Your Classroom. Stay tuned for more with Chris. Sarah. Krishana. Paige, Stacy, and Rob.